Hello everybody, welcome to this leadership podcast. How to be a team player is uh, the topic. You know, I love a giraffe, it walks so serenely, um, but it's, it has to walk in between bushes and, and all sorts of obstacles. But it has its head like above the trees. And I think sometimes we can, we can move with our head bashing against trees and rocks and all that kind of, kind of thing. But, but actually what we need to have is we need to have our, the attitude of our hearts and minds above all the sort of momentary troubles like a giraffe. Uh, so that we can, we can see better, we can see more clearly. And I think, I think if our attitudes are rocked, uh, we can, it's like a mist comes and we can't see things clearly. So, so I'm, in terms of a team player, I'm going to spell out attitude because I think attitude is so important. And the, and the A in attitude is, is to be aware, be self aware, be aware of your strengths and weaknesses and be aware of, other people's strengths and weaknesses and circumstances. And I think that, that goes a long way uh, in terms of being a team player, it's being self-aware and being aware of others. Um, and all are important in terms of a team. Uh, everybody, you want everybody to go through the finish line. I think being honest with each other, uh, loving one another, uh, and, and forgiving quickly. I think if we, we harbor grudges, uh, hold on to anger and bitternesses and frustrations, I think it, it just doesn't add to our team environment. So we've got to be honest with how we feel and, and, and talk to those around us uh, one-on-one. Don't talk behind people's backs. Don't fester a wound, you know, uh, and, 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 go and, and be honest with, with each other in terms of, of, of task and of season and of, of ideas and thoughts. And, but don't be those who would inundate each other with uh, constant negatives. That's not what it's all about. But if you have a genuine concern, it would be great to go straight to the person. So all everyone's important on a team. The first T is timing. You know, you can you can have a good thing at a bad time, and it's a bad thing. Remember, you know, uh, kids going to go to sleep if you say good night to them, and then uh, they go off to bed half an hour later. They say, I want to give you a hug. No, that's we've said good night. So uh, you know, good a hug is a good thing, but it's now at the bad at the wrong time. So remember, timing is important in terms of being a team player. So you can have good things, but if at a bad time, that's that's not a good thing. And then second T is be thoughtful. Be a person who would be caring and kind, and uh, and thoughtful of others. Be discerning of the moment uh, or the moments. And as leaders and as people in, in a team, be, be thoughtful and caring of one another. And that goes a long, long way. Be generous to each other. The I in attitude is, is every individual is important. I think everybody needs to uh, respect one another, respect each other's ideas and thoughts and opinions. Uh, they're important. Don't make someone the butt end of, of a joke all the time. That's just insensitive and, and, and silly. And your, your team's not going to benefit from that. So you be the solution in that, in terms of being uh, respectful of, of people. Don't, don't uh, slag people off uh, when they're not around there to defend themselves. That's important. The third T is task. Be part of the solution. Get your head and mind involved in, in solutions or in terms of uh, getting to, toward the goal of, of, with, of your team. And then in terms of the you of attitude, un understand your role, understand uh, the role of the team. And uh, if you understand that, um, you'll be able to best serve the team. Uh, there's been a slogan around our uh, church environment for many years, and that's loving God, loving people, making disciples of all nations. So we can understand what we're trying to achieve. And, and all that we try and do under that umbrella is to achieve that outcome. So understanding what you need to achieve is important. Um, and then the D in, in attitude is be decisive, be committed. Uh, decide you're in and, and go with it wholeheartedly. There's nothing more beautiful than having somebody on your team or you as a leader being wholeheartedly committed and, and going for it. And uh, it just changes your whole demeanor, your whole attitude, your whole family, those around you, if you're wholehearted and, and committed. And, and people following you will see that and, and, and they'll, just, they'll just enjoy it and, and want to follow you. So I think that's uh, really, really important. And then E in terms of the attitude is expectations. Don't have unrealistic ex expectations on each other. 
or on yourself even. You can have an unrealistic expectation on yourself. Now, be kind to yourself, uh, one step at a time, uh, upskill one at a time. Uh, and then in terms of your team, don't have an unrealistic expectation on a team. I think people have unrealistic expectations on leaders as well and on individuals. You know, we're, we're all uh, the unfinished product. We're uh, under the grace of God. The sinners that we are, we're under the grace of God trying to achieve something extraordinary. And we need to remember that. So, so don't judge each other. Don't... Um, you know, put an unrealistic spin on, on a church or on, on an individual. So uh, we need to remember that. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. So if you are on a team, or if you're a team leader, uh, God bless you in all you're trying to achieve. Uh, be that person who would be positive, optimistic, and lean toward the future and, and keep um, relying on the Lord. And, and going to him and keep you like that you're off keep your your head above the momentary things and uh, keep lining up uh, with the king of kings and uh, god bless you i hope this has been helpful to you